Now to the race for the White House. Another day, another series of controversial statements by GOP frontrunner Donald Trump. Meanwhile, a war, a war of words is heating up between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. KTLA's John Finolio live tonight in the newsroom. John? Chair Donald Trump met with his foreign policy team for the first time today. He did not respond to the onslaught of criticism over those comments he made yesterday about abortion and nuclear weapons. This, as a recent CNN ORC poll found that more than 70% of women nationally have an unfavorable view of the billionaire, a point both supporters and opponents believe will hurt him in a general election. Donald Trump taking fire on all fronts after saying women should be prosecuted to enforce an abortion ban. Do you believe in punishment for abortion, yes or no, as a principle? Uh, the answer is that there has to be some form of punishment. Trump abandoned his position hours later, but his opponents were already pouncing. Let's talk about the news of the day. Sure. Ted Cruz telling KTLA. Donald's comments were unfortunate, and, and I disagree with him. Bernie Sanders tweeted, your Republican frontrunner, ladies and gentlemen, shameful. Hillary Clinton piling on. Let's remember this. All the Republican candidates want to make abortion illegal. If you make abortion a crime, then you make women and doctors criminals. Even John Kasich, who has refused to go negative, is taking aim at the billionaire's gaffe and blasting the frontrunner for another startling comment that he would not rule out using nuclear weapons in Europe or the Middle East. I would never take any of my cards off the table. It is not the way uh, that a leader of the free world or the commander in chief of our country to be so casually talking about the use, by the way, of nuclear weapons. Trump's campaign now trying to downplay the comments as a mere slip of the tongue. There was a misspeak here, and you have a pres presidential candidate that clarified the record, not once, but twice. This as Trump met privately with RNC officials in Washington, later tweeting that he will bring Republicans together. I am very proud that I was born here in New York City. Both Sanders and Clinton campaigning today in New York, which votes later this month. After an event, Mrs. Clinton was confronted by an activist who pressed her to reject donations from the fossil fuel industry. Clinton blamed Sanders for spreading lies. Mrs. Clinton holds a 12-point lead in the Empire State, but Sanders has a slight edge in Wisconsin, leading by four percentage points. And as Kasich and Cruz look to deny Trump the 1,237 delegates needed to secure the nomination, the latest Marquette Law School poll shows Cruz with a 10-point lead on Trump in Wisconsin. Micah Scher, back to you. John, thank you.